So there's not many things that I hate. Yeah, I hate to use the word hate. Strongly dislike in life. But one of them's a thief. My Instagram account got hacked and it is a freaking nightmare trying to get it back. So I might end up having to start a new one. It really sucks because I was over 30,000 subscribers. I just hope I ain't got to start all over now. So look in the description and if you click on the Instagram thing, if it's my, my old one uh, and you're already following it, that's great. You ain't got to do nothing. If it's my new one that I possibly have to set up and you want to follow it, click on it and follow me. Hey there, it's Pete with GCI Turf. Hope you're having a great day today. I'm going to winterize my irrigation. It's getting cold and uh, I apologize for my attitude because I'm quite pissed off. Um, I, I don't care nothing about no thief. Somebody sits on their freaking tail at a computer all day long and hacking into people's private information. That stuff rubs me pretty raw. People like that, I'd like to meet them in person. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's been dry as a bone here. No rain uh, for a while and it doesn't look like we're gonna get any. But it's getting kind of cold in the mornings to where uh, I need to winterize my irrigation. Uh, so I'm gonna get that done. I hook up my air compressor tank back here to my well, cut the valve off on the well side so no air pressure goes that way, but it goes from here straight to the irrigation system. I'll go around and manually open each, uh, each zone valve. And it'll blow the water out of the line and leave nothing but air in the line. Then I'll leave the valve open. That way you know, anything that's in there can kind of drain it all runs downhill to right here. So I'll leave these open. So if there's anything left in the lines, it drains out right here. It's kind of a safety measure. So, you know, if we get like extreme cold, my pipes don't bust and all that kind of crap. And I have to dig them up and redo it. Uh, today, I'm gonna show you my ear green system. Uh, you know, I put that in back here on the bluegrass. It's totally and completely unique and different than, uh, you know, your traditional rotor type or regular pop-up fans and that kind of thing and um, I'm gonna set a zone today and show you how I do that if you're gonna put an irrigation system in it might be you know a system you might want to consider that's you know your decision your call uh, I just want to show you what it does and help you out in any way and then you make the decision from there now one thing we were able to do is we actually have the ear green systems listed on the GCI uh, Turf Academy website for sale there. Uh, you don't have to actually go through them to buy it. Uh, you, when you go to the product page, you will click a link and it'll click you over to another page and you'll configure your system and kind of figure out how many heads you need. And I think you put in your square footage and measure out some things and that kind of thing. And then you click back over, and if it's something you want to buy, you'll buy it straight off the Academy website. Uh, it's just it's just the way I wanted to do it. It's the way I wanted to do business with them. But we got it set up, and it's ready to rock and roll. So if you remember, we installed this back in the summer. Uh, before, I planted the grass. This is uh, GCI Turf Blue Heat, the blue grass. I'll be honest with you, the, the, the ear green system is not ideal for growing in turf from bare dirt simply because it uh, sprays out a little bit too much pressure. Heavier water droplets right around the head so it would actually push the grass seed out. So I had like a little makeshift system above ground set up uh, to water everything to get the grass established but now once the turf is established and going i personally think this is going to be game changing stuff i think it's going to be more than ideal and uh I, I can't wait to use it to be honest with you 
you know it doesn't spray in traditional circles i mean you can tell it to if you want to it sprays the pattern you want it to so the way i've got mine laid out i'm going to set up each zone to spray in a rectangle shape so that's what we're going to do right here and i got a head there and a head in the middle i'm going to find the center point between those two so i'm right at 40 feet so i'm gonna go back at 20 which will be the center and put me a little mark. Oh, well, I said I was. You gotta plug it in first, dummy. All right, there's me a little mark right there. And of course, I'm gonna do it on the other side as well. Huh, I'm the same 40 feet. Wonder how that happened. Go back to 20, put me a line. Of course, over here on the building side, I really don't have to do that because uh, it's going to follow the curvature of the bed, but I do need to do it this way. So sorry about the shadows. It is what it is this time of the day uh, when we get to the springtime and everything's nice and lit up. I'll come back out here and make another uh, video on the startup on this thing. You basically take your app. I'm getting ready to do zone number five. I'm gonna click on zone five right there and this stinks, you can't see anything. All right, so I'm gonna pull up the app right here and we'll do zone number five. I'm gonna go to that one. I'm gonna edit the zone. I'm gonna skip calibration, I've already done that. And you can see it's starting the sprinkler up. Now we get down here and look at it close, you can see what I'm talking about, those bottom three or four. I mean, they put out a pretty good amount of pressure. It's a bare dirt situation that's going to kind of push your seed out, which is really no good, to be honest with you. I do think they are working on something to correct that. Now you can see I've kind of got a map already made on here, and I'm just going to go in here and fine tune it a little bit. And by pushing this arrow, it actually makes the uh, water uh, go out a little bit further. And then I'm gonna go to my next one here and the head will move over and I can bump that out a little bit. And you see the pressure increase as I need it to throw a little further. I'm trying to get all the way in that little corner right there. Now you see why I've got the squares or the rectangles drawed out on the yard so that I can follow the line with the end of the water, which is super cool. That way this head and that head will meet up right in the middle and the overlap will be very, very little. Where I painted the lines on the grass, basically a visual marker for me is really all they are. And you can see on this one, the water spraying all the way out to here. And but I'm standing on my line, so I'm going to back this up just a little bit. The wind's blowing. I'm going to back this up just a little bit, and you can see it getting shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter. Now it's hitting right on the line. Now I'm going to go to the next one, do the same thing, back it up a little bit, uh that's hitting right on the line go to the next one that one's really close back it up now i kind of already had this kind of mapped out last summer when i did this but i'm really fine tuning it now if you're starting from scratch you just hit the little plus button and it'll add a a stopping point for the the system and you just drag the little circle wherever you want to drag it and then you can adjust it from there i know the lighting's terrible uh the shadows got it all jacked up i promise you i'll make another one in the screen uh but i need to come to this corner okay because this head is going to meet in this corner that head's going to meet in this corner that head's going to meet in this corner and that head's going to meet in this corner all of them will come here and make a a straight up 90 degree turn and then continue on so of course if there were going to be any wet spots in the yard uh, obviously 
they would probably be where the four heads meet. Of course, that's where you really want to get it fine-tuned to where it hits the spot exactly. I think I'm going the wrong way with this. Let me go back this way. There we go. Now, since I'm going to have all four heads meeting in this corner, I'm going to actually let all four come a little bit short of the actual intersection right here because you will get some splash and, you know, a little bit of overspray, I guess. It's really not overspray. They're super heavy droplets. So a little bit of splash and it'll all meet in the middle. I need to back that one up and down. This thing's so cool, man. It's like playing a daggone video game. And you can see here I need to add one because I've got too much space in between those two. So I just add one and drag that right where I want it. Then I can get back to my adjustment. That water would be cold today, boy. All right, I need to put another one in here. So I'm going to add one more and it should be about right there. I'm going to back this one up to meet at this intersection. Because this one, this one will, uh, this head will meet here, that head, that head, and this head will all meet in this corner right here. And the same thing, I'm going to let it fall a little bit short because I'll have a little bit of splash and stuff kicking out. And of course, you monitor it just like any other irrigation system out there. If you notice a super wet spot while you're mowing, you just you know pull that head up and readjust it a little bit. Now, this is what makes this thing so stinking unique. Okay, I've got a three-way intersection. This head's gonna meet here, that head over here, and then this head's gonna meet here. And I, I couldn't completely square it off because I mean, I've got this area over here that if I squared it off, this isn't gonna get any water. So I split the difference. Instead of creating a perfect square both ways, I come right down the middle and I'm gonna make this one follow this line and then it'll pick up my bed here and circle back around. And then that head will come down this line pick up my bed and go straight in front of the building. Pretty cool. And of course, when we get right here to this point, this is where it transitions. The finer you want to tune this thing, you just can put more individual stopping points right here. See, it's hitting my well right here, so I'm gonna back it down just a little bit. And then we're gonna go right in front of the building here. And then I got the same uh, thing over here in this corner where it kind of the bed's kind of a funky shape it circles around and I've got an odd triangular type shape right here and so uh, this head and that head is going to kind of meet in this one corner of the bed and want to go one way and want to go the other way now I can go on here and hit play and when you do that it'll actually run the route that I just programmed so all I got to do is come over here and walk and follow it and just make sure it's doing right. Boy, I'm telling you, I love this, man. This thing puts that real heavy droplets. Yep, corner looks good, makes a 90. And you can see the pressure start to, to really dial back the, the closer it gets to the line here. I really believe once you get this thing, you know, super tight and super dialed in, it ain't gonna be nothing like it because the, the you know, your water's extremely consistent, very consistent. There's uh, very, very little overlap. Look at it coming right down through here. Look at the, impress the pressure's increasing, increasing, increasing. Whoops, I got to change that one. I must have missed this spot right here. It didn't come all the way to here, but then the pressure picked right back up and it's going all the way back out to the line. Let's see if it follows that bed right. Oh yeah. Very, very, very little on my ramp there. And then the pressure picks right back up and hits that corner. Look at that. Ain't that cool? Woohoo! Now I'll come here and save it. Save and exit and it'll exit the uh, zone and cut the zone off. And then I can go to the next zone. There you go. Uh, I think it's game changing stuff. I can't wait to run it through on the bluegrass the entire season. Um, obviously, you're not going to be putting in irrigation right now for the most part. 
so you can you know this will get this will give you something to think about if you are considering doing an irrigation system so as always i appreciate you taking time a day to watch i'll check you later